Hey everybody, welcome back to, well actually no, not not welcome back, this is uh, this is actually the, the, end, the, the end of Mercenary Kings, but the beginning, the beautiful beginning of Mercenary Mailmen. Woo! We are the Mercenary Mailmen, we are male people, you know, whatever, whatever you are more comfortable with saying. We could be the, the male women if you want, but we are no longer kings, there's no longer time for kings. Or gods, we are all men and male and women, women male, or whatever. We're and all postal workers. We're all. We fall. We all give mm, mail. <laughs> and and you, can, wanna, you can always send mail to our P.O. Box at P.O. Box. Dot com. Dot com. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I had a, <laughs> I had a thought. I had a thought about about mercenary mailmen, and it makes me think like, well, the thought makes me think. Uh, I'm just rambling. So, okay, so if they were like mercenary mailmen, let, let, let's let's just like assume that in some future or in the past maybe, what if mail carrying was not a government job and instead was privatized like ups so, yes like ups fedex all of those guys um even though i only said two <laughs> like i think of it at this very moment um so what if like mail carrying is privatized entirely and so like even the people that were just like delivering the mail that you know your regular mail were like competing for your affection, essentially, <laughs> like not maybe not yours, but whoever's sending you mail, right? And then like, and then I'm thinking like, you know, maybe like now it's like you know more civilized, but like in a time long, long ago, they might have been like they might have been like legit battling, like driving down the street, like shooting each other up, trying wow. to get your mail to back because like they want they want to deliver your mail because they want the you know they want the service or they want to make the money. So they are gonna kill the other mailman, the competing mailman, because I mean, if they don't, then he's he's getting their money, you know. Like, yeah. he's, he's got to survive. He wants to make be that a, delivery. Be a dangerous and world. Guy, yeah, it's crazy, man. The world of mail delivery. Yeah. It's very dangerous. Please, don't do it. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we're past that <laughs> intro. How. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you been, man? I've been good. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Did you die? Oh no, I didn't die. I just got hit more than I would have liked. Oh Jesus! You know something crazy about this mission? You know, you know what it's called? What is it called? The guard dog. The guard dog. Oh. And we're mailmen. Oh, well, we're freaking mailmen, dude. Yep. Yep. I'm scared. I think there's gonna be a puppy robot. Oh gosh! Dang it! Oh, I hate this game. I'm always <laughs> getting shot. Always getting hit by something. Mm mm mm. Go away! I die! <laughs> Come again another day. <laughs> Spooky, scary electricity. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh. See, yeah, man, that's it's crazy. Yeah. We, why do we go? Why do we go in here? Oh. oh. Isn't this the way? Wait, is this the way? No. <laughs> no. We should. We should. Oh yeah, why did we go in there? We just we were, we were too we were too preemptive, man. We were just we were just too good at this game, and so we forgot that. Oh my gosh. Oh, you found the electricity. Yeah. What the heck? <gasps> why is there electricity <gasps> there? Oh god! Oh, I hate robots. Mhm. Mm man, man. So in the world, so what? What time period do you think? Like, what do you think causes the the, the fall of um, of government mail carrying and causes privatized mail carrying? What do you think? What do you think it is that like makes it all happen? Wait, say say that again. <laughs> like, what event do you think in like? In our his like in our future series, so we're we're like, we it's what what do you hypothesize will be the end of 
government facilitated mail carrying and what will make it become privatized and yeah I see. So, so like, when will the post office no longer deliver mail and it will all go to private companies? Yes. So. That's exactly <clears throat> what I mean. It. I mean, it's a process that I think is happening like right now. And. Uh, yeah. And I think one of the issues that a lot of people have is the price of stamps going up. Mm. So. I think that uh, I think that generally private companies might be able to keep prices at the same price, mm. whereas keep them, or keep them lower. Yeah, keep them Maybe. lower. So, whoa. So I don't know. Increase in stamp prices is one thing that might happen. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was that was rather insightful because I did not know that. I was expecting like some crazy answer like <laughs> a crazy dictator will take over and he just he'll hate the post office so much because he they always um, they kicked his dog once and he was very upset about it and so he he decided to abolish the mail. That yes! is, that's a real Ow! possibility too. <laughs> I mean. I mean, I thought of it all by myself. So. <laughs> couldn't have, couldn't have said it better without well, myself. I mean, hey, what do you what 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 Oh no! Oh, oh my no. gosh! Oh no no no! Oh Whoa. no no no! Well? Oh no no no! We did oh. it! <laughs> That's all we needed to do is destroy the barricade. Yep. yep. And now we know what our new boss is gonna look like. A puppy. He has so much health. He has like 155,000 right now, and we're wow. only taking him down from 168,000. <laughs> uh, we captains. are captains. Captain. Captains of the post office. <laughs> we're the captains <laughs> of the post office. Dude. We, we drive the, the, the mail carrying ships, the airships, the mail carrying oh, airships that yeah. deliver the mail. Yeah. And they're technically, or, or drones. Which, which one do you think is better? Do you think being like, Pirate mailman is better. Space or like sky pirate mailman or drone pilots. Which one do you think is better? Ooh, sky, because I'm thinking sky, sky pirate mailman. Yeah, me too. Like drones are cool and everything, but uh, sky pirate mailman, dude. Yeah. Like that sounds pretty legit to me. That I mean, we are legit and we haven't quit. I have no intentions of quitting. No. Nope. Because that is a cool job. Yep. To be a a sky pirate mailman, dude. You even sky. heard of that before? You even heard of a sky pirate mailman? I I can only imagine. <laughs> can I mean I, I hope I hope that you can imagine. Because <laughs> Cause it is, is reality for us the, now. The real deal. Okay, this is happening. Mm. It, I still don't understand why this is telling me that I have this many this capacity because I don't I don't have that capacity in my gun. It's lying to me. It lies. It's a liar. Okay. Liar, so liar. Many new guns. Plans so many for new hire. Guns. Plans for hire. Plans for hire. I think I think that's something that Patrick said in SpongeBob once. Uh, he said, "Liar, you know, liar. Plans for hire." You know, I was never really a big fan of SpongeBob. You know, neither have I been, especially the newer ones, but that line always gets me. No. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. I'll never Punisher. Forget. Punisher? It's a... Uh, a new mod. You have Eagle Eye, Magazine, Punisher, and Turtle Share. Mm. Turtle Shell. Turtle Shell. 
It looks like the only thing I'm low on, I can get almost everything. I just don't have money. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, me too. I think that's my only situation. Just need more money. Money! I need money now. Give me the money. You know? Okay. Do we want you know? to exterminate, gather, rendezvous, or rescue? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, we want to... <laughs> Just, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> hmm. Let's let's exterminate. Cause we are now mercenary mailmen. Mercenary mailmen. We gotta we gotta make sure that no one's messing messing with our 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 customers. Indeed. We don't we don't like that. Mm -mm. We don't like nobody messing with our customers. Not at all. We gotta exterminate what? the competition. Wipe out the threat in the area. This is gonna be hard. Yep. 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 Let's hope the threat I... is minimal. It looks like I it's just a ton. And we get a lot of money. So it's quite a bit of money. Quite a bit of money. Just gotta try not to die. Oh yeah. Oh, it's just in that area. So that's... Oh no 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 no. Oh no no no. no. So. I don't know if it's like a secret or not, but like the the internet thing that you're doing. Oh yeah. What is that? Is that a secret? No. Nope. Are... Not at all. Ooh, Galena. So like, so like, so like, what are you trying to do? So, oh wait, what internet thing? You know, the email you sent me. The email I sent you. <laughs> you sent me an email. <laughs> Yeah, like yesterday, I think. Oh, I did. Wait. Okay, so what was it about? <laughs> about you like explained. Well, you were like explaining to me how like people don't have the internet. Oh. Are like, they they have limited access to it? Right. Or they or they only have one carrier in their right. area. Right. Things along those lines. Yeah. Oh, that thing teleported. So yeah, I found out that information on uh, Broadband Now. It's like some... It's just a website that it has been trying to gather information about internet and stuff in the in the United States or in for people to have information about it. Yeah. And so, yeah, I just thought that was interesting and... I mean, I didn't real. I I thought more people would have internet, but I right. guess I was wrong. Right. You know, it's like it's especially in California. You think like, oh, like every person ever should have internet, but like, that's not always the case. Right. Not everywhere at least. Or yeah, because I not just California, but like the the United States maybe. Oh yeah, because I I mean I was sure that some people like east of Humboldt were definitely not having internet because mm. yeah that would totally make sense to me yeah because they're yeah. like in the middle of nowhere right <laughs> right like I can, I can see like stuff like central california where it's like mostly farmland um, mm -hmm. it makes sense for like for them uh, well i can imagine like, farmland having you know, internet, because it wouldn't be difficult to get, to give them internet, but like, mountains and forests, people who live right. like, in there, that would be understandably difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So like, were you like, trying to, because you all, you are also asking me something before, about like, what it required to like, right. to do those things. Yeah, to, so, like, be... uh, yeah. An like, ISP. Yeah, if we became an ISP uh, for, you know, rural California, because um, some people are already doing it, um, yeah. but just not everywhere. 
Yeah. And so, so there's like, there's totally just like people just like people just doing it. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a guy out in Humboldt County area, and he uh, he delivers internet to three counties, um, but he does it with help from um, some other people. And yeah. what they do is they lease uh, fiber from him. Um, oh. So I, I don't know how all that leasing stuff works, but yeah, I mean... There's basically only one, or there's only two people up here who um, own fibers, or maybe it's one person who own fibers up here, oh. and basically everyone else leases from those from that one person. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if we get this, like, huh? I've never. I feel like I've never heard of like just people just doing it <laughs> that's so strange yeah yeah i mean because the guy the company is net uh 101 netlink and it's basically for people near the 101 north mm. um and yeah <laughs> he pretty much operates nowhere else he's like he operates from the middle of nowhere <laughs> yeah like that's literally nice. I think I accidentally let you do like this whole mission because I was out of the. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's alright. Like, <laughs> killing stuff and not even in the same area. Not even. You know what thing I've also I've always and, and okay so this is from Seinfeld but I'm sure that it's been elsewhere. Um, but like you know how people do rock paper scissors. Yeah. Well, there's this other thing called evens and odds. And it's basically you say evens or odds, and then each person throws out um, a uh, um, a certain number on their fingers. Mm. And what if it's e if it adds up to even, then they win. If it then even wins, if it adds up to odd, then odd wins. So it can only be played between two people. Oh, I mean, Rush and Bo can only be played between two people. So I guess yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. Now, the only uh, uh, I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. I feel like there's. Woo! Oh, sweet, you did it. I was gonna say I feel like there's like a like a way to like to like um manipulate that but it's not like there's an even I mean there's like the same amount of numbers that you can throw up and two odds makes uh, uh, an even but two, oh wait two odds makes an even and right yeah two odds make an even and two evens make an even wait so dude, the only way to get oh, odd right the only way True, to get so odd odd, to... odd kind of has the bad side huh yeah, there's only there's only a one third chance to win if you get odd or if you call odd, because the three options are even even odd odd and even odd, and so the only way odd can win is if you throw even odd. Hmm. But even can or win. Or actually, on two different. Even odd or odd even. Right, but. I mean, in that case, you would count even, even, and even, even, even though they're like the same thing. Ah. Uh, but and would like, you? In terms of pro in terms of probability, I I saw there's, there's three outcomes. Right, but I saw this. Um, there was a thing that was disproving a TED Talk video about the or a TED Talk Ed about. Um, wait, are we doing another mission or? Oh oh uh. Next time on Mercenary Mail, <laughs> we're gonna shoot at some stuff and probably have a good time and talk some more about stuff. Uh, more probability coming your way. Coming your way in just a matter of seconds. Bye. Bye.